Hello, welcome to In The Glow. I'm Desiree Stordahl, the Senior Research and Education Manager here at Paula's Choice. And I'm Shaylee Heindel, the Product Education Specialist here at Paula's Choice. And today's episode is all about our oily skin heroes. So if you know our line well, you know that we give options for every mm -hmm. skin type under the sun. So in later episodes, we'll feature on different skin types, but today it's really about the products that can help with oily skin and all the problems that come along with it. Enlarged pores, for some people, clogged pores, breakouts. So we're just gonna kind of cover everything. Um, also something I wanna point out is that even within our particular lines, we do have multiple products for different like oily skin cleansers or oily skin mm -hmm. toners. So here we're kind of just narrowing down some of our personal favorites. Yeah. For me especially, I have that excessively oily skin. I know you have more dehydrated skin. Yeah. But even having dehydrated skin, I can see some breakthrough oil come through in certain areas throughout the day. I wouldn't classify myself as oily, but a lot of the products that we'll go over do have some soft mattifying ingredients for those of us that maybe want to control excess oil but don't necessarily have oily skin. Yeah. So the first question might be for some of you, you don't even really know what mm. skin type you have. Um, for me, it's super easy because I'm so oily, it's coming through right now. But if you don't exactly know, wash your face with a normal gentle cleanser, wait about 30 minutes. And if you start to see kind of oil diffusing all over your face at that point, you've got oily skin. For some people, it might only be in that T-zone region. And that's pretty common because we have more oil glands in our T-zone. But if you're drier on the cheeks, the eye, the jaw area, um, but have just the oil in the T-zone, then you're more combination skin. And a lot of our recommendations today will also work for combination skin. If you were dry feeling after that 30 minutes, you're dry, that's pretty normal. Um, and then if you really don't have either end of those spectrum, you are the unicorn, you are so lucky, pat yourself on the back, you have normal skin, which not a lot of people do. I think it's kind of a rare thing. You're very lucky in that you can kind of use any formula, any type of texture. Um, but for the rest of us, we really need to stick to textures that play well with our skin type. So for oily skin, you're gonna want lightweight things. You don't want um, heavy occlusive formulas. You don't want anything overly emollient that's gonna clog your pores more or make you feel more greasy. Just keep with the lightweightness. So I think a really great place to start is kind of walking you through a routine. Starting with cleanser, like I said earlier, we have a lot of different cleansers that can speak to oily skin. I am picking the clear pore normalizing cleanser because this is my personal favorite, especially for these summer months where my skin, my oily skin just feels extra humid and extra, you just wanna get that grease off of your face. This is my favorite cleanser to just cut right through it. And it's a gel, clear formula, I'll kind of show you because, oh, it has the seal Still on it. Still got the cap on. <laughs> we do have our skin balancing cleanser for oily skin, but it's more of a cream type of texture. Mm -hmm. um, not like a cream lotion, but just more of like a cream that you put on. It foams with the water that it mixes with. This one's a little lighter weight, I would say. Absolutely. Does a really good job of removing tenacious sunscreen, a really good job of removing tenacious makeup, or just that dirt, oil, and grime throughout the day. So the texture of it, like I said, just a nice gel. Thank you. We have an assistant handing me Kleenex over here so I can wipe off my hand. <laughs> um, but, you know, you can't go wrong with our other oily skin cleansers. I just happen to really like this one. If you also happen to be breakout prone, it's the cleanser to go to. Absolutely. I also recommend picking up an extra bottle of the pore normalizing cleanser to leave in the shower in case you are blemish prone on your body. So on your back, on your chest, it's a really easy add-on in the shower for not a lot of extra money. Yes. And then fragrance free, it's so hard to find fragrance free body washes. Yeah. So nice to have that as an option. Next up is the skin balancing toner. I will not travel without this product. I love it so much. So after you cleanse, even with oily skin, you can feel a little, like your skin is just a little parched mm -hmm. after you've used your cleanser. This is a really nice way to give your skin back all of those replenishing ingredients. Um, there's ceramides, there's hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, antioxidants galore. Um, and these are all types of ingredients that often people look for in a moisturizer, but you can get them in this very lightweight replenishing liquid formula absolutely. right after cleansing. You can't really see it, but it is water light. There's absolutely no weight to it. So it just seamlessly blends into any skin type. 
um, but tends to be preferred for oily skin because it feels like just bad nothing yeah. on your skin. And on days when I'm traveling, you know, say I'm doing like a beachy vacation and I'm not mm. wearing any makeup and, you know, I get back to the hotel and your face, you don't really want to like redo everything. I'm not ready to take a shower quite yet, but I can just kind of refresh everything with that toner. It just takes down the oily shine that I've got going on and kind of gives your skin a refresh. So I like keeping that one with me for daily use when I'm not using makeup that day, when I'm not wearing makeup that day. That's smart. The next step, you guys probably have heard us talk about ad nauseum, but you know we got to talk about it. Yeah. 2% BHA liquid leave-on exfoliant. This is our bread and butter. It is our number one bestseller for a reason and the ideal exfoliant option for anybody struggling with oily skin. Oily skin tends to have an even more thick layer of built up dead skin on the surface, plus a thickened pore lining. And BHA, salicylic acid, is an amazing ingredient that is oil soluble, can really get into those pores to break down congestion, built up dead skin, anything that's causing bumps, blemishes, breakouts, I think of Black all the heads. Bs, blackheads, anything that starts with a B, BHA is gonna be <laughs> your best friend. Um, it's also got a lightweight liquid texture, similar to the toner. We do have some folks that would prefer an even more water light exfoliant option in the BHA form. So if you don't like that silky finish, we've got our clear regular strength BHA, and we've also got the daily pore refining treatment 2% BHA in the resist line. So those are two options for yeah. you. Yeah, and there's other textures of BHAs that we sell as well. Um, mm -hmm. But really, if you have that excessive oily skin, you're probably gonna wanna stick to the liquid. That's gonna be the best texture for you. Absolutely. Also, there's a little sale going on with these a little right sale. Now. Our Nordstrom exclusive two for $36 BHA duo is on sale now at every Nordstrom location from the 18th for non-card holders all the way to August 4th. So two for 36, they run 29.50 individually. So you're basically just about getting a twofer for that one. And it is every year just exclusive for Nordstrom anniversary. So run, don't walk. <laughs> Okay, um, one other thing I was gonna mention about BHA is often with oily skin, you might have enlarged pores, especially if your pores have become clogged. And so as Shaylee was mentioning the benefits earlier, because this is able to get into that pore and clear out the clogs, then those enlarged pores can go back to their normal shape and size, or at least get help getting there. So very nice thing to kind of target two benefits in one with that. You're getting the surface exfoliation, mm -hmm. you're able to unclog pores and help with those enlarged pores all in one. Absolutely. Next, moving on to serums. We have lots of serum options, especially when it comes to our dedicated antioxidant serums. Mm -hmm. You would have multiple types to choose from for oily skin, um, but we're just gonna hone in on the ultralight antioxidant concentrate serum from our Resist line. By the way, you might notice a theme here. With the Resist products for oily skin, they're in the light blue bottles. So if you are ever trying to distinguish on the website which is right for you, the dark blue Resist line is for dry skin, normal mm -hmm. to dry skin. Um, the light blue is normal to oily and combination skin. But with this serum in particular, just nice and lightweight, giving your skin tons of great beneficial ingredients loaded with those antioxidants we all need on a daily basis to fight off environmental stressors, to fight off you know, the signs of aging that have already started to creep up and just yeah. kind of put a stop on it. Put a pause, get your skin back in shape. I also love this formula, not only for its lightweight texture, but it's loaded with skin soothing ingredients. So if you are struggling with any sensitivity, signs of redness or irritation, maybe due to blemishes, maybe just naturally, this is actually going to have some great calming and soothing benefits for you. This is total off-label use, but I actually got a burn on my arm yesterday, and I was just thinking as we were talking about it, I need to treat that area really quick. That's a good call out though, because there is a significant amount of vitamin C in this formula, and so if you are struggling with post-blemish marks, this is going to be an excellent option to start to minimize that discoloration. So next up we have sunscreen. I know as somebody with oily skin, sunscreen can be one of the scarier products yeah. to pick because you don't want anything that's gonna make your skin feel greasy. You don't want anything that's gonna make your skin feel suffocated. A lot of sunscreens of yesteryear used to be so thick and heavy and occlusive. 
and left that white cast on your face. Um, so the options we have here are both really nice and light. So we'll start with the super light daily wrinkle defense. This is an SPF 30 loaded with antioxidants. It's got resveratrol in there. But the thing that I really like to call out about this is that it is mattifying without leaving your skin looking like it's been sucked dry and parched. It comes out as a cream mm -hmm. and then as you uh, rub it in and it dries down, it actually does dry down to this nice lightweight matte, semi-matte, not true, true matte, but semi-matte finish. And then it's got a slight tint. So if you have just minor, you know, little things that you want coverage for, uneven skin tone, it kind of just helps even everything out, kind of blurs it. Yeah. And then you're getting that amazing sun protection, wears beautifully under makeup, not gonna cause any peeling, not, it's not gonna feel too heavy, it's not gonna catch your makeup. Mm -hmm. when, mm -hmm. when formulas are really mattifying, sometimes your foundation can kind of drag yeah. as it goes on over it. Um, this isn't that type of formula. Pro tip, I love using this as a primer for those of us that maybe don't want to use a moisturizer, an SPF, and a primer underneath foundation. An added benefit is that because it does have that very gentle but still pretty noticeable blurring and smoothing effect, I often find that you wind up putting on less foundation because you've already got an even more perfect canvas than you started with. So it's a great, it's a great option for sunscreen, moisture, Primer. And if you want mineral sunscreen, it's mineral. Do we have a yeah. question? We just got some love for the Calm Normal to Oily sunscreen. Ooh, Someone yeah. out there really likes that. The Girl in the Garden 9. Good for sensitive skin that's mm -hmm. also oily. Um, all of our products are fragrance free. Everything always has soothing antioxidants added to the formula. So you can kind of think of these as all being gentle for skin, but if you do have that truly, truly sensitive skin and are struggling with oiliness, yes, check out that Calm line for normal to oily combination skin. Um, if you go on the website, you can actually just search straight for Calm and it'll pop up all the products and have a routine put together for you. Another question. Is it okay to use the extra non-greasy sunscreen on someone's face? Yeah, you can totally do that. If that texture plays well with your skin type yeah. and you find that works great for you, there's nothing about a body product like that that can't be used for the face. Yeah, same with our body creams as well. So the 2% BHA body cream, the 10% AHA, the retinol skin smoothing body treatment, all great options. And a question about the 2% BHA liquid, going back to that, um, can you use it if you have sensitive skin? Absolutely. Salicylic acid is naturally very calming, anti-redness, anti-inflammatory. So between AHA, glycolic acids, lactic malic, and BHA's salicylic, salicylic tends to actually be the preferred option for sensitive skin. And we got a travel tip from Marty Erickson on Instagram Live. Ooh, um, they put 2% uh, BHA in a spray bottle or a mist bottle when they travel. Oh, I love it. That's a great tip. And then you don't have to bring cotton pads with you. Yeah. You can also use it all over your body. Yeah. Um, I also like to do that with the toner formulas. I like to put them in a sprayer bottle, whether or not I'm, I'm traveling at home, I like to just mist them on. So you can absolutely do that. When it comes to, less concerning with the BHA, but when it comes to like a toner in a spritz bottle, you just wanna make sure the bottle's opaque because the antioxidants in the formula can and will break down prematurely yeah. when they're exposed to light and air. So having it in an opaque bottle will limit that light uh, penetration. That's a good call out. Yeah. Any other questions before we move on? Okay. So we wanted to give another option for sunscreen besides just this one, even though that is a lovely option. If you want something that's a bit more fluid, Absolutely. then our Clear Ultralight Daily Hydrating Fluid is an SPF 30. And this is almost like, just like a liquid. It's just super, super lightweight. Um, as you can see, it blends into skin really beautifully, imperceptibly. Mm -hmm. If you are really concerned about clogged pores, this is a nice way to go. because It's just so lightweight, nothing emollient in there that's gonna cause any poor, sort of pore clogging. But you do still get some hydration enhancing ingredients. So your skin isn't going to be feeling, you know, too dry or too tight mm -hmm. because of using a formula like this. You still get a bit of hydration, even with the oily skin um, that you're trying to deter. You still need hydration at the end of the day. And if you're less prone to reapplying, starting with an SPF 50 as opposed to an SPF 30, you're still going to need to re reapply regardless if you're in direct sunlight. But if you want to stretch it a little bit longer, 
Go with the 50, set yourself up for success. Although this one is SPF 30 plus, but it really mm. is rated for a much higher SPF than I. Absolutely. It is an SPF 50. Um, but Giving out our secret. Yeah, we just, for certain labeling reasons, we had to keep it at a 30 plus. Absolutely. So give that one a shot if you do not like to reapply, which I think a lot of folks with oily skin, you get the one layer and that is it for the day. They are calling it good. We do have some op other options for, re for reapplication. Mm -hmm. We've also got the On The Go Shielding Powder SPF 30. I love this formula because it is very softly mattifying. And so if you dust it on, it's translucent and it will help minimize any excess shine. That doesn't mean though that you just apply it in the areas that you're seeing that shine. Still apply it all over. But if you don't want to reapply a liquid or a cream, go ahead and go with the powder. Just don't skip the liquid or the cream at the beginning of the day and just go. Right, with it. yeah, this is really great for touching up, but Absolutely. you wouldn't want to rely on the powder as your sole source of sunscreen. Um, because if you were doing that, then you would really have to be caking it on. But as a nice light layer, as a touch up, works beautifully. Perfect. And that is also mineral, just in case you're wondering. The tint on there does blend into skin really nicely. I know it looks a little dark in the bottle, uh, but once it's blended on in a light, nice light layer, you can't really even see it. Okay, and then moving on to a nighttime moisturizer option. Again, we have several different moisturizers for oily skin, um, but we're just picking one of the ones that we feel is particularly great, mm -hmm. and that is the Clear Oil-Free Moisturizer. So free of oil, free of silicones, it's got vitamin B3, it's got blueberry, tons of antioxidants in here, giving your skin all those really great reparative ingredients, restoring ingredients, but in this nice gel, I would say gel, gel lotion, lotion type yeah. of texture. Um, so it's not gonna feel heavy on skin at all. This is especially great for dehydrated skin like Love yours. Yep. I specifically asked for this one because I think it is amazing in the daytime if somebody doesn't want their products to pill because it doesn't have the oil or silicone in it. Of course, always finish with your SPF. And then in the evening, especially when it's the summer, if you don't have air conditioning even more so, you still need to take care of your skin, but you definitely don't want to feel the weight of a more occlusive emollient moisturizer. So the clear oil-free moisturizer is going to be your best friend. Summer, other times throughout the year, just about whenever you need it. And I personally don't always use a moisturizer. So if I'm not using something like this, then I rely on my toners to get me all of those great hydrating ingredients. Not every toner on the market works like that, but ours do. They don't strip skin, they don't have high amounts of alcohol or any alcohol in them, the drying types of alcohol, no fragrance, um, and just loaded, like I said earlier, with those replenishing ingredients. So I, because I have such oily skin, can get away with not having to use a moisturizer and just really getting those great ingredients that way. I think it's a really good call out Desiree just made. Let's say you don't choose to buy a Paula's Choice oil controlling product. If you're buying other controlling products or just products for your skin and you are oily, other ones on the market, be on the lookout for those hidden drying alcohols, SD alcohol, denatured alcohol. They can make your skin feel really clean, but at the end of the day, you're doing more harm than any good. Yeah, and the irritation that the inside can actually trigger more oil production, mm. trigger more breakouts. And so this temporary degreasifying effect, that quick yeah. dry finish that they give, which seems so great in the beginning, is actually causing worse problems in the long run and even in the short term. I mean, it, those things start Absolutely. to show up pretty quickly. And same with any menthol, eucalyptus, any irritating. Lavender, oh, essential, essential oils. oils. Yes. Any yeah. product that really you feel that instant tingling on your skin, yeah. that's your skin's way of telling you that it's being inflamed, you need to stop, Put the brakes on it. Um, it most likely is being caused from an irritating ingredient, or you might be just sensitized to a specific ingredient. But if you see any of those things that we just called the alcohol, the menthol, the eucalyptus, um, you just want to avoid those in your products at all costs, yeah. especially if you have oily skin, but all skin types, but especially oily skin because it's just going to make that oiliness worse. Excellent. Okay, so that would be kind of the end of the essential slash advanced routine. Mm -hmm. We've got a, a, quite a few products in there, but here are some nice add-ons to specifically address the issues that come with oily skin. So if you like to do a mask, um, we have our pore clarifying charcoal gel mask, which does a beautiful job of um, using these fabulous absorbing ingredients that aren't going to strip your skin dry at the same time. So you get the mattifying, the anti-shine benefit out of it, 
but it's not gonna leave your skin feeling too tight afterwards. I like to recommend using this mask in the morning instead of at night because when you think of oily skin and keeping that shine in check, you really want that to start at the beginning of the day. Yeah. And so while it's still great at night, at the beginning of the day, you're getting more of that mattifying benefit out of it. And then with the charcoal in here, you also are getting some, um, some drawing action out of the pores. So anything like blackheads or just impurities that might've built up, clogs that might've built up, that has also kind of just helped clearing everything out. So I think of it as a great way to start your day. Yeah, put it on maybe 10 minutes before you take a shower in the morning, rinse it off while you're in the shower. You don't have to deal with messing up your sink, getting it on your towels. It is very easy to remove, unlike a lot of other oil, oil absorbing masks, but doing it in the shower just makes it that much easier. That's a good tip, I love that one. Okay, and then moving on to our shine stopper. So this one's an interesting yeah. one. So I actually haven't really mastered this product. It doesn't work for me for whatever reason, but I tell you what, when I do press events, and I'm talking to beauty editors and bloggers and influencers and even around the office, this is a product that comes up so often without me mentioning it, people will just say, the Shine Stopper, I cannot live without. That is my favorite product. If you go on our website and check out the reviews, I even did this morning just to kind of see what people were saying. People love it, it works really well for them. So how I see most people using it, um, if you're somebody who wears makeup, dabbing it over your foundation, yeah. and it really just does have these um, ingredients that can go to work to absorb the excess oil. So there's magnesium, alumi aluminum, silicate in here. Um, there's a cross polymer in here that helps with absorbing oil, and then other ingredients that help with that finish as well. It doesn't look powdery. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to mess up your makeup if you just lightly tap it on right. those oily areas. You don't need to use it all over. Just focus probably in your T-zone or wherever else you have that excess shine poke through. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of a good point to make that not every product works for everyone. And for whatever reason, with my extremely oily skin, this just doesn't do it for me, but it does it for a lot of other people. Have you tried it? I haven't. Because but, you don't really have that issue. Yeah, but you know, I've used it on clients before, and if I just use a makeup sponge and dab it on maybe a clean beauty blender, I do notice that it cuts down the shine and I can actually see the highlighter I'm putting on them and not oil. Yes. <laughs> It was interesting because in a few of the reviews I was looking at, they called out how it lasted for 10 hours or all day, and that impresses even me. I mean, I know it's in the formula, I know those ingredients can do that sort of thing, but to really hear people actually calling out the amount of time yeah. that they get out of it, that's a pretty incredible benefit. So I would say it's a really good one to try. If it doesn't work out for you for whatever reason, we have the most generous return policy. So if it doesn't work for you, get in touch with us. We'll either refund your money or we'll help you find another product that will work for you and exchange it. So we wanna make sure you're getting the best results. Um, not everything, like I said, works for everyone. So it's just yeah. a great way to know you can try something with us and we'll always have your back. We'll always have you covered. Absolutely. Okay, I'll let you talk about this one. So I wanted to call out hyaluronic acid as well. So when we're talking about targeted treatments and really customizing the rest of your uh, routine, be it an oily skin routine or any polish trace routine, using a booster to either be your at-home chemist and add to a serum or non-SPF moisturizer or just on their own is a fantastic way to add really, really targeted ingredients without any extra weight. So that's why I specifically wanna call them out for oily skin. Hyaluronic acid in particular is incredible for replenishing hydration. I think when folks have oily skin, they forget that you can also be dehydrated. So you can be lacking water even though you have excess oil. Um, oftentimes we've had folks report that when you replenish that hydration, you actually see the excess oil come down a little bit because your skin isn't trying to overcompensate and overproduce that oil. So the hyaluronic acid booster just has a weightless gel texture, blends right into any product that you choose to mix it with or layer on its own. There's no sticky finish and it's also got four replenishing ceramides in there as well for longer lasting hydration. I love it. I love one of the, like, the cool geeky science things about hyaluronic acid is that it really truly can draw moisture out of the air mm -hmm. and bring it down into your skin, which sounds gimmicky, it sounds hokey, but the research is there. And what an incredible lightweight way to give your mm -hmm. skin that hydration. And another cool thing about all of our boosters, 
Um, pretty much all of them have these really lightweight textures, mm -hmm. so they're going to be great for oily skin, but any skin type, because as Shaylee was mentioning, you can mix them in with your moisturizer or your serum. It's all about being able to customize, but starting out with that lighter weight base yeah. really makes them be able to be used by all skin types. So next up in the booster realm is our niacinamide booster, our 10% niacinamide booster. And if you have oily skin, as we mentioned earlier, you might have enlarged pores that come along with that. Niacinamide is this amazing skin educating ingredient, as we call it. It can go in and tell your skin cells how to behave like they did when they were younger. So when you think about a pore that has become stretched out, either from sun damage, from clogs, just from aging in general, um, in fact, as we age and skin starts to sag, the pore lining kind of goes with it. And so you get that enlarged pore look. Niacinamide can go in and just help it go back to its normal shape and size. It's never going to completely eliminate pores. You wouldn't want that. You couldn't do that. Um, but it really does help them go back to just that normal size. Question. Uh, can you use niacinamide in the AM or PM? Does it matter? It does not matter, especially as long as you're using SPF during the day, which you need to be using anyways. Um, that goes for any antioxidant that you apply on your skin, the sun will break them down. So make sure you're using SPF, but there's no optimal time. You can really use it morning, night, middle of the day, whenever you want. Yeah. And is it okay to mix with retinol or having the same routine as retinol? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. And okay. then back on the pore front, I always think about pores as a rubber band. Back to your Desiree's talk about pores enlarging, getting back to their original size. Your pores literally are like rubber bands. You can stretch them out, fill them with dirt, debris, excess oil, excess uh, dead skin cells, and you can clear them up by using leave-on salicylic acid, but they're never gonna get to be smaller than their original size, just like a rubber band. So yeah. you can get them back. If you're like me, you're born with extra large rubber band pores. <laughs> but uh, the best thing I can do is to keep them clear. And for a lot of folks at home, that's all you can do as well, keep them clear and keep them healthy. And I should mention niacinamide, niacinamide isn't just about enlarged pores. Mm -hmm. There's so many other benefits with it. It helps with evening out skin tone. It helps with wrinkles. That is why it's a really nice option in this lightweight formula um, for somebody who has that oily skin, but they want to address the signs of aging in a really potent way. So you're getting uh, ingredients that tackle so many different things at once. And overall, I think skin just looks brighter. When I wake up the morning after I apply this at night, my skin does just look more radiant. It's one of those products where you can see results really, really fast yeah. from using it. Absolutely. Probably why it's one of our best sellers as well. And does, then, oh, sorry to interrupt. Does vitamin C help at all with oily skin? I mean, as an antioxidant, there's always extra benefits. And if you think about antioxidants stamping out inflammation, yes, in a roundabout way that helps with oily skin, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't seek it out as an ingredient that particularly is going to mm -hmm. help. Um, I can't pinpoint like a specific oily skin benefit other than its anti-inflammatory properties. Yeah. Or if you do struggle with extra blemishes here and there because of your oily skin, vitamin C can absolutely help with the post-blemish marks yes. that might be caused. So again, supporting some concerns that you might see more of in oily skin, but maybe not oily skin itself. Okay, and then last but not least, do you want to talk about azelaic, azelaic. acid? Azelaic, sure. So our 10% azelaic acid booster, we consider it kind of a multi-flaw corrector because it can help with signs of sensitivity, it can help with discoloration, and going back to concerns that oftentimes folks with oily skin do tend to experience, it helps with blemishes. So raised red bumps, uh, bumpy skin texture overall. This also has half a percent of salicylic acid in it to combat that redness, any signs of sensitivity, and to really deliver that potent azelaic acid a little bit deeper into the pores. This one, as opposed to our other two boosters that we've uh, talked about, has a satin creamy finish. It's not a lightweight liquid or gel but that doesn't mean you can't customize it. And, and it my cream, sense. not like a greasy, not an emollient mm -hmm. cream. It really no. just goes down, absorbs into skin, almost feels like yeah. nothing. Absolutely. So this one, you can add in your niacinamide, add in your hyaluronic, almost treat it like your serum. Or of course you can apply it on its own. It's great for preventing blemishes, minimizing discoloration. And if you do have any redness associated with 
inflammation, then it's going to help with that as well. Questions? <laughs> Can you guys mention one more time what ingredients you would stay away from if you have oily skin? Yes, so these are ingredients that all skin types want to avoid, but high amounts of alcohol, so we're talking about you know denatured alcohol, uh, SD alcohol. There are other types of alcohol that aren't drying and aren't harsh and irritating, satirical alcohol, mm -hmm. the fatty alcohols. Um, fragrance, is another one you want to steer clear of. All of the essential oils, your lavender mm -hmm. oil, your citrus oils. Um, Men anything mentholated, yeah. so eucalyptus as well. Very irritating, drying. You want to steer clear of harsh abrasive types of scrubs mm -hmm. as well, so anything that's going to literally tear at your skin. I know when you have oily skin um, and maybe you have blackheads, you think you can kind of scrub them away. Right. It doesn't work like that. You're doing more damage to your skin in the long run. But anything that's causing irritation to your skin, you just want to avoid it when you have oily skin, all skin types. But I mean, when we're talking about what triggers more excess oil, those irritating ingredients mm -hmm. do rise to the top. Don't use um, harsh drying soaps. Don't use soap on your face in the first place. Soaps can leave a residue that causes um, clogged pores. If you are struggling with maybe clogged pores on other parts of your body, you mm -hmm. might want to try switching out from your bar soap to that clear cleanser or just any other water-soluble body wash that's fragrance-free. Mm -hmm. um, what other irritating ingredients strike off the top of our heads? I was going to say bar soaps in general. <laughs> um, let's see. You want to avoid being extra, you know, you don't want to take like a super hot towel to your mm -hmm. face. Anything, again, that's going to aggravate skin is going to make oiliness worse. And then avoiding um, those emollients, those heavy, occlusive types of textures. So when you think about a really rich moisturizer, yeah. that's not for everybody. Dry skin, great. Normal, sometimes even combination skin, totally fine. Yeah. But for oily skin, you want to avoid those heavy, thick textures. So going back to fluid textures, liquid textures, gels, mm -hmm. anything that's nice and lightweight is going to be a much better bet. Okay guys, well thanks so much for joining along. Like I promised, we will be covering other skin types in the future and uh, maybe write into the comments and let us what, uh, know what you want us to talk about next. And a quick shout out, always give our client services team a call if you have any questions about which products are gonna be best for you. The phone number is everywhere on our website. It's also on every bottle, 1-800-831-4088. You can also chat or email in if you would prefer to do that. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>